Hello, Ed Moses here. Um, hey, yesterday I did a uh, video on a book that I had just read called The Three Magic Words, and that was by U.S. Anderson. And uh, it's funny, I've been really interested in, in learning more about the subconscious mind, and it's funny how that when you end up with an interest of some sort, how you keep stumbling into other things that are in the same interest field of whatever that is that you're looking at. And uh, in my case, it's been the subconscious mind. It's been, there's, a, there's so much right now that I'm learning about this that it, it's, it's really got me um, mesmerized, for uh, lack of better words. And so anyway, by some stroke of luck, by chance, I run across a video on YouTube. And it's by a man named Greg Braden. And if you don't know who Greg Braden is, uh, I'll tell you what, if you have any interest at all in the subconscious mind, you want to know who Greg Braden is. Um, I don't know a whole lot about his history of where he came from. I do know he worked for Cisco Systems like in 91 or something like that. But for quite a few years now, Greg has been studying uh, a lot of ancient religions, uh, the ancient uh, uh, beliefs, uh, even in like biblical type things. He's traveled all over the world to uh, to locations that have uh, sacred books, and uh, in some of these sacred books, these there's like missing chapters from the Bible, things that are just of total interest to me, and and all because it has something to do, and it all relates to the subconscious mind in some way, shape, or form. And it, it, this, it's just nuts that how this works, but it, it just seems after watching Greg Braden, there's a there's a video that was on uh, YouTube, and it was like it was about four minute forty four hours long almost, so maybe three hours, but it was a long long video, and I watched every minute of it because I couldn't stop watching it. It was so. Interesting. It was uh, filmed in like Milano, Italy. Uh, I believe that's where it was filmed. But uh, he gave this this very long presentation on his discoveries and how the ancient world, you know, used the subconscious mind as a create a way to create things and how it relates to like oh it just there's so much it, it, and it, just how it relates to present day where we really have lost touch with this gift that we all have a lot of people especially in the western world don't even know they have this gift um, a lot of us we, we start thinking that what we really have is what you want to call a miracle and that's fine you can believe in miracles but the reality is we as human beings are spiritual creatures having some human interactions uh, in, in our life it's really We've really lost touch with who we really are, and I know people probably watch this going to think I'm crazy, but uh, on a subconscious level, that is actually the reality. Uh, it's almost like we are currently living in a dream. What you see, what you can touch, what you believe because you've been told from your conscious mind is really not even, it's fiction. It is more like a something we're scared of, something that makes us scared. So therefore, because we become uh, scared or, oh, what's a good word for this? 
I just can't think of a good word here for this, but we we live our lives being told by other people what their belief system is. So we, we live in this world that uh, we think that there's limits to everything. And so we, we run around thinking, well, that's all there is. You can't, it, it can't be done, or I'll never be any more than I already am. When in fact, that is really not how it is. We have this ability in us to create anything that we want. Now, this, I mean, this, now this goes for e everything. All these things that, that a lot of people will consider miracles. Uh, this even goes for, you know, like your financial situation, your health, um, your happiness. I mean, just anything that you want, anything you believe is actually right at your fingertips. You can create anything in this world that you want. A lot of people don't understand that, but, you know, we, we, we get a lot of people in the Christian religions, especially, I think, Muslims, and but they pray. They, they will pray, but they hope something will happen good for them or for somebody. But the reality is that on the subconscious level, when you pray that you hope that someday this will happen or some good will come of something, what is actually happening is you're wishing it off for some day. And the subconscious does not have a clue what that what to do with that. Therefore it says, okay, someday this will be something that you want. But not right now. So therefore it doesn't happen, it doesn't occur. Uh, let me give you an example of some of uh, something that uh, Great Braden had in, in this video. Uh, there was a, uh, it was over in China. This woman had uh, cancer. And you could see, I forget what kind of cancer it was, but you could see the big tumor inside the skin of her. And it was a big tumor. It was supposed to be inoperable. And she was actually, you know, modern science medicine said, you're going to die from this. This is going to kill you. And, well, anyway, these... I think there was three doctors, and what they had done through the subconscious mind, they actually started chanting this message that put them in a state of whatever, you know, like you feel when you've accomplished something or when something good has happened and something has passed that, that excites you. And they kept chanting and chanting and chanting this thing. And as they chanted, you could see, they had, it, they had this thing on video, you could see the tumor shrink and go away, right before your eyes. Right before your eyes, you could see it disappear. And I don't know, I was blown away. I was blown away, I mean, in, you know, as Greg went into this further, what, what basically what he stated was, and this is incredible, that, and this is why prayer is, you know, when you wish for something down the road, why you never get it, because you keep wishing for it down the road. When you already believe something is here, you believe that it's already happened, it's behind you, it's happened, the subconscious will say, well, well, okay, then, this has to happen now in order for everything to be in alignment. Um, and when you look at this particular incident, this thing in China where these doctors, without any medical instruments, no surgery, nothing, healed this woman from her cancer just by believing that it was gone already. And, you know, that this is what a lot of, like, in the Christian would say, oh, this is a miracle. Well, is it really a miracle? Or do we not understand how to tap into this gift that we all have? Have we forgotten how to use it? Now, if you go to some of these, uh, like, well, China, for instance, the Buddhists, you know, obviously they have 
a lot of knowledge in this. They they use this stuff. They they understand this philosophy in this this power that we have. A lot of ancient cultures knew this, and that's how they they thrived for so many years. Because we asked. You know, how did, like, ancient Egypt, you, you know, we're asking, how, how did some of these kings live so long? How did some of these queens live so long? Well, think about it. If you have this gift that you can create wellness just through your own thoughts and beliefs, you could live a long time. Now, the Buddhists, they were talking that 80-year-old is a young person in their mind. You should live to 120, 130 years old. That is what they, they feel. The body should be able to last that long. But because we put ourselves under so much pressure today with our jobs, our belief system, making ourselves stressed over nothing, over something that's really not even a reality, it's just something that we believe because somebody told us this is how it is. We've worn ourselves out. That's why we're dying so young. Um, I don't know, maybe, you know, a lot of people probably don't look at this, this is crazy stuff, but let me tell you something. you got to start reading some of this. you got to start watching some of these videos on YouTube. It, it's just amazing. It's just like you're watching my video on YouTube. You, you just, you know, if you could relate to this, I'd appreciate anybody to relate to this. Let's start talking to me here on YouTube. And, uh, uh, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just so amazed with this. As a matter of fact, I've started to practice this myself. I, I, I want to make this something that I can master. And I personally don't believe this is any particular religion. Uh, because mankind has always had a strong belief that they had to have something to follow. There's always been a religion of some sort to follow. And so there's always been religions. But um, I don't feel this is this is any religion. I feel that somehow we are all interrelated through the subconscious, one great mind. That somehow we are we are all connected. We all have this power. So anyway, you should take it take some time, look up Greg Braden, and, and check this guy out. I think he's fantastic. I really like what he's got to offer. I've actually ordered some books on uh, Amazon now, so uh, I'm going to read up on this guy. I'll do some more videos after I do that. This was just based on a video that I watched. So, anyway, I thank you for uh, watching the video, and I hope you have a great day. I will talk with you later now. Bye.